assalamu alaikum my name is dr kashif ali and i am discussing with you people the topic of the male reproductive system first of all we should have a look on this diagram that is a male reproductive system this is the side view and this is the front view actually male reproductive system includes testes these are the testes two in number and the epididymis that are the tubules that are in, involved in the sperm storage and after that it is changed into the sperm duct from there to there this is sperm duct and after that it has to pass from different types of glands that add different secretions in it this is the seminal vesicle and this is the prostate gland after that it goes into the urethra that is a tube within the penis and this is the penis this is the skin of the penis and the it has muscles that have ability to erect because it has many blood spaces in it and the connective tissue uh, this was the basic overview actually and uh, now we will start the uh, reproductive organs their functions and uh, uh, what will the explanation about there on the book let's start first of all sperms are produced in the male reproductive organ that are called the testes these are the testes which are outside the body actually these these are the testes which are present outside the body and because because actually spermatogenesis is the process in which sperms are formed and uh, spermatogenesis requires a less temperature as compared to the body's own temperature like that is the 37 temperature and the for the suitable temperature for spermatogenesis is 36 so that is the reason actually the testes are present outside the body and covered by scrotum that is a sac let's start sperms are produced in the male reproductive organ called testes these lie outside the abdominal cavity in a special sac called the scrotum in this position they are kept at temperature slightly below the rest of the body this is the best temperature for sperm production the testes consists of a mass of sperm producing tubes these tubes join to form ducts leading to the epididymis that is the coil actually that is the coil form of tubules that are 6 meter long on outside of each testes the epididymis in turn leads into muscular sperm duct and the muscular sperm duct then uh, passes just after the urethra it is uh, it has to pass through the uh, different types of glands and after then from the urethra the two sperm ducts one from each test is open into the top of the urethra just after it leaves the bladder you can see in the side view when this sperm duct passes from just from the bladder and after that there are two type of the glands actually first one is that this is the seminal vesicle and this is the prostate gland and another gland that is not mentioned here is the bulbo-urethral gland which is also important for the nutrition and the providing the liquid medium to the sperms a short coil tube called the seminal vesicle branches from each sperm duct just before it enters the prostate gland which surrounds the urethra at this point urethra passes through the penis you can see here the urethra is passing from this is the urethra this is the red tube or pink tube that is the urethra and the surrounding this surface this line from this line to this line and uh, the urethra passes through the penis and may conduct either urine or sperm at the different times uh, actually the main difference that is between male and female urethra is that urethra is passing uh, 
फ्रॉम द यूबोला इन द फीमेल दैट इज द सेपरेट ओपनिंग दैट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ विजाना दैट हैज नो रिलेशन विद द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम एक्चुअली दैट इज द एक्सक्रिटरी सिस्टम पार्ट ऑफ एक्सक्रिटरी सिस्टम बट हेयर द यूरिथ्रा पास इज द पेनस एंड द सेम यूरिथ्रा ट्यूब इज यूज फॉर द स्पर्म रिमूवल ड्यूरिंग द सेक्स इंटरकोर्स एंड द सेम यूरिथ्रा इज यूज फॉर द यूरिन रिमूवल द पीनस कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू एंड मैनी ब्लड स्पेस इन इट दिस इज कॉल्ड द इरेक्टाइल टिश्यू दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम लेट स्टार्ट विद द टेबल दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इन इट वी विल स्टडी द पार्ट नेम एंड द फंक्शन एपिडिडमस दैट इज द ट्यूब दैट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन ईच टेस्ट इज दिस इज द एपिडिडमस वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एपिडिडमस एपिडिडमस एक्चुअली फंक्शन इन द स्टोरेज ऑफ स्पर्म्स एक्चुअली टेस्ट इज फॉर्म द स्पर्म्स एंड एक्स्ट्रा स्पर्म्स मोर देन नीट and these are stored in these tubes that are called the epididymis so function of testis is the formation of the sperms and function of epididymis is the storage of sperm after that the this is the tube that is called the sperm duct and this has the function that it connects the uh, testis with the urethra actually uh, this is used for the sperm transport and uh, let's see function of sperm duct muscular tube that links the testes to the urethra to allow the passage of semen containing sperm and after that what is the function of the seminal vesicle and the prostate gland actually these glands add liquid medium and nourishment different types of foods like uh, carbohydrates and different many other things are added up and uh, after that the sperms are changed into semen that is a viscous form or liquid form in which different uh, nutrients and uh, liquid medium is provided by these glands and one gland is missing here that is called bulbo urethral gland and uh, after that scrotum what is the function of the scrotum actually as i used the term before actually it is a sac that protect the these testes outside the body because spermatogenesis take place at 36 degrees celsius so testes are present outside the body and protected by the scrotum and uh, this is a uh, last part that is uh, penis what is a penis it has it has connective tissue and blood spaces and which has ability to erect and to be hard and after the sexual intercourse it is hardened structure and uh, deposits sperm at the vagina and urethra what is the function of urethra urethra passes semen containing sperm through the penis also carries the urine from the bladder same same tube is used for semen and bladder sorry as and and uh, urine as well instead the urethra of the female is not used for the uh, egg removal or something like that that is involved in the reproduction only uh, urethra is involved in the urine removal thank you very much